Today, we'll embark on an intriguing journey where the past meets the present in the most unexpected of ways. We are speaking of an exploration of the world's most mysterious abandoned places, brought to life through the lens of cutting-edge drone technology. From desert cinemas to desolate ghost town, here are the 20 most amazing things drones have captured in different abandoned places. Number 20. Abandoned Greek Village in Turkey Nestled on the rugged coastline of Turkey lies a forgotten gem steeped in history and mystery, the abandoned Greek Village. This once thriving community, known for its architecture and stunning views, now stands frozen in time, its stone houses and winding alleyways slowly being reclaimed by nature. But behind its crumbling facades lies a rich and colorful past. Kayakoi, also known as Levisi in Greek, is located near the town of Fethiye in the Mugla province of Turkey. It was historically a vibrant Greek village, with much of its construction dating back to the 18th century. The village had a population of around 6,000 inhabitants at the beginning of the 20th century. However, during the ethnic violence and political turmoil that occurred during and after World War I, many Greek residents of Kayakoi were forcibly displaced as part of the population exchanges between Greece and Turkey. This led to the abandonment of the village, leaving it in its current state as a ghost town. In recent years, the abandoned Greek village has attracted the attention of intrepid explorers and photographers eager to uncover its secrets. Armed with drones equipped with high-definition cameras, these adventurers have been able to capture stunning aerial footage of the village, showcasing its ancient ruins and breathtaking vistas from a perspective never before seen. Number 19. Aircraft Boneyard Located amidst the vast desert expanse of the southwestern United States is the world's largest airplane boneyard, the davis monthan Air Force Base Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group, near Tucson, Arizona. Covering over 2,600 acres, this sprawling facility serves as the final resting place for thousands of retired military aircraft, earning it the nickname, the Boneyard. The history of the davis monthan Air Force Base dates back to World War II, when it functioned as a storage and maintenance facility for surplus military aircraft. Over time, it expanded to become the primary location for the storage, preservation, and eventual disposal of decommissioned aircraft from all branches of the United States military. The arid desert climate of Arizona provides optimal conditions for long-term aircraft storage, preventing corrosion and preserving the aircraft for potential future use or recycling. In recent years, Footage from drones have transformed the way the davis monthan Boneyard is documented and explored, showcasing the scale and scope of this remarkable facility. Number 18. Abandoned Hospital, Germany Right on the outskirts of Berlin, Germany, sits an abandoned hospital, shrouded in an air of mystery. Surrounded by overgrown vegetation, this once vibrant medical facility now stands silent and empty, with rusty hospital beds and chairs, creeper plants growing through the windows, and a deafening silence in the corridors. This hospital is called the Belitz Hospital, Belitz Heilstatten, and it was constructed as a military hospital in 1898. Famously, the hospital treated a young corporal named Adolf Hitler when he was injured in a mustard gas attack in the closing weeks of World War I. It became a Soviet military hospital during the Cold War years and was mostly abandoned in the 1990s. The hospital's eerie atmosphere may suggest haunting tales, but its abandonment likely stems from changes in healthcare. In 2017, a drone photographer known as Nix created a rather haunting drone video of this abandoned hospital complex. And over the years, tourists and other travelers have also become instrumental in documenting the abandoned hospital from above. Number 17. Abandoned Nuclear Power Plant, Chernobyl. Chernobyl, a name synonymous with nuclear disaster, is home to one of the most infamous abandoned sites in the world, the Chernobyl Nuclear Power Plant. Located near the city of Pripyat in northern Ukraine, this once bustling facility is now a haunting reminder of the catastrophic events that unfolded on April 26, 1986. The Chernobyl Nuclear Power Plant was intended to be a symbol of Soviet technological prowess boasting four RBMK reactors capable of producing vast amounts of electricity. 
However, a combination of design flaws, human error, and a lack of safety protocols led to a catastrophic explosion in Reactor 4, resulting in the worst nuclear disaster in history. The explosion released a massive amount of radioactive material into the atmosphere, contaminating the surrounding area and forcing the evacuation of thousands of nearby residents. In the aftermath of the disaster, Reactor 4 was entombed in a hastily constructed concrete sarcophagus to contain the radiation, while the other reactors at the plant were gradually decommissioned. Today, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant is abandoned. Despite the risks, the Chernobyl exclusion zone has become a magnet for tourists. Drones equipped with radiation-resistant cameras have been used to capture stunning aerial footage of the abandoned power plant, providing a unique perspective on this tragic chapter in human history. Number 16. Bolivia Train Cemetery The city of Uyuni is the largest city in the region, which sits on the Great Altiplano Plateau and is also home to the Uyuni Salt Flats and Train Cemetery. The history of the Bolivian Train Cemetery dates back to the early 20th century, when Uyuni was a thriving transportation hub for the mining industry. The trains, primarily used for transporting minerals like silver and tin, played a crucial role in Bolivia's economy during this time. However, with the decline of the mining industry and the introduction of more modern transportation methods, the trains were gradually phased out and left to rust in the desert. Today, the Bolivian Train Cemetery tells the story of Bolivia's industrial past, with rows of abandoned locomotives and rail cars stretching as far as the eye can see. Visitors can wander among the rusting hulks, imagining the bygone era when these trains crisscrossed the country's rugged landscape. Despite its desolate appearance, the Bolivian Train Cemetery exudes a sense of whimsy and adventure, attracting travelers from around the world who come to marvel at its unique beauty. From colorful graffiti adorning the train cars to the stunning sunsets that paint the sky above, the cemetery offers endless opportunities for exploration and discovery. Number 15. Abandoned Hacienda of Caxcantla Haciendas, with their sprawling estates and rich history, are iconic symbols of Spanish-speaking countries. From Mexico to Argentina, these grand estates evoke images of lush landscapes, vibrant culture, and storied pasts. The Laguna de Aljajuca is a landmark crater lake in the Aljajuca municipality in Puebla, Mexico, southeast of Mexico City. Located at the base of this crater stands the long-abandoned shell of Caxcantla, a once-inviting hacienda, whose history dates back to the Spanish colonial period when it served as a center of agricultural production, cultivating crops like sugar, corn, and coffee. However, as Mexico underwent social and political upheaval in the 19th and 20th centuries, Many haciendas fell into decline, their owners unable to maintain them in the face of changing economic realities. The hacienda of Caxcantla was no exception, and eventually it was abandoned, left to succumb to the ravages of time and nature. Despite its dilapidated state, the hacienda exudes a certain mystique, attracting adventurers and photographers eager to explore its hidden corners and capture its faded beauty. In recent years, drones have become invaluable tools for documenting the abandoned hacienda from above. Number 14. Abandoned Six Flags, Amusement Park, New Orleans Among the permanent casualties in New Orleans from Hurricane Katrina is the former Six Flags Amusement Park. Situated in New Orleans East, the park opened on a 140-acre site in 2002. It has been closed since the historic storm and subsequent flooding devastated the city in August 2005. Despite valiant efforts to revive the park's spirit, the damage was simply too great, and Six Flags New Orleans had to bid farewell to its beloved guests for good. But for adventurers and thrill-seekers, the park's story is far from over. Today, the abandoned Six Flags Amusement Park beckons daring explorers and intrepid photographers to uncover its secrets and capture its eerie charm. Drone enthusiasts take to the skies, offering breathtaking aerial views of the park's decaying attractions and vibrant vegetation reclaiming its territory. It's a spectacle like no other, blending excitement and curiosity in equal measure. In the meantime, it's also been used to film a number of feature movies and TV shows, most famously the 2015 sci-fi blockbuster Jurassic World. 
While the future of Six Flags New Orleans remains uncertain, there's always hope for its revival. Various proposals and potential investors have expressed interest in rejuvenating the park, sparking optimism among locals and enthusiasts for a return to its former glory. Number 13. The Vance Creek Bridge. Perched high in the Pacific Northwest's greenery, the Vance Creek Bridge is a ghostly reminder of past glories. Once bustling with trains, now it's a silent witness. The history of the Vance Creek Bridge traces back to the early 20th century, when it was constructed as part of the Simpson Logging Company's extensive rail network. Stretching over 400 feet long and towering 347 feet above the canyon floor, the bridge was an engineering marvel, providing a vital link for transporting timber from the rugged hills to the mills below. However, as logging practices shifted and transportation methods evolved, the need for the Vance Creek Bridge diminished. By the mid-20th century, the railway had fallen into disuse, leaving the bridge to stand as a silent sentinel amidst the wilderness. Despite its abandonment, brave souls venture across its weathered planks, risking life and limb to experience the bridge's awe-inspiring height and panoramic vistas. In recent years, the Vance Creek Bridge has gained notoriety as a destination for urban explorers and photographers eager to capture its haunting beauty. Number 12. Unfinished Skyscraper in Thailand Opening with a one-of-a-kind drone, this video will leave you wanting to replicate his bold moves. This is the Sathorn Unique Tower in Bangkok, Thailand, also known as the Ghost Tower, which looms over the Bangkok skyline. Rising 49 stories above the bustling streets of Thailand's capital, this unfinished skyscraper was supposed to be filled with high-rise condominiums, but construction on the building was halted in 1997 due to the Asian financial crisis. The 607-feet skyscraper was already 80% complete, but has yet to be touched in the two decades since being abandoned. Venturing inside the unfinished skyscraper, reveals a labyrinth of empty corridors, graffiti-covered walls, and crumbling staircases, offering a glimpse into a world frozen in time. Despite being off-limits to the public, the tower has become a magnet for drone photographers drawn to it. With legal and financial challenges persisting, completing the Sathorn Unique Tower remains uncertain. Despite occasional proposals for redevelopment, including plans for a luxury hotel, the tower's future hangs in the balance, leaving it to fate. Number 11. Russian Radioactive Ship Cemetery The Russian Radioactive Ship Cemetery earned its name due to the presence of several nuclear-powered vessels among its ranks. These ships, once part of the Soviet Union's formidable nuclear fleet, were retired from service and left to languish in the icy waters of the Arctic. But why were these ships abandoned? Well, the answer lies in the changing tides of geopolitics and environmental concerns. As the Cold War came to an end and nuclear disarmament efforts intensified, many of these aging vessels became obsolete and too costly to maintain. Additionally, concerns over the environmental impact of radioactive materials led to their decommissioning and eventual abandonment. Today, the Russian Radioactive Ship Cemetery serves as a captivating destination for intrepid explorers and photographers eager to uncover its secrets. From the rusting hulks of decommissioned submarines to the eerie silence of abandoned research vessels, the cemetery offers a glimpse into a bygone era of naval exploration and technological innovation. Despite its remote location and chilly waters, the Russian radioactive ship cemetery continues to draw visitors from around the world each eager to discover the mysteries of this unique maritime graveyard. Number 10. The Airplane Home Bruce Campbell, an innovative thinker with a passion for sustainability, turned heads when he transformed a retired Boeing 727-200 airplane into a unique home nestled in the woods of Hillsboro. Dubbed the Airplane Home, Campbell's creation showcases creativity and resourcefulness. He says, Planes are incredible structures made to withstand high pressure and winds and would be a shame to waste. With careful planning, Campbell repurposed the fuselage of the aircraft, incorporating its sleek lines and sturdy structure into the design of his unconventional dwelling. The interior of the airplane home features spacious living quarters complete with a bedroom, kitchen, and bathroom, 
all cleverly integrated within the confines of the aircraft. Campbell's decision to build his home out of an airplane was driven by his desire to minimize environmental impact and embrace a minimalist lifestyle. By repurposing an existing structure, he avoided the need for new materials and construction, reducing waste and energy consumption in the process. The airplane home has garnered international attention for its innovative design and sustainable ethos, inspiring others to think outside the box when it comes to housing solutions. Oftentimes, this airplane home has been captured by drones, showcasing its exterior beauty and design. Number 9. Mysterious Monoliths In November 2020, surveyors in Utah's Red Rock Country in the USA stumbled onto a 12-foot-tall metal monolith of unknown origin via drones. At some point later, the structure vanished as suddenly as it had appeared, baffling local authorities and sparking a renewed round of speculation regarding its creation and ultimate fate. Later, mysterious monoliths began appearing in various remote locations across the globe, including Romania, California, the USA, and England, sparking widespread intrigue and speculation about their origin and purpose. These metallic structures, resembling tall, shiny pillars, captured the imagination of the public and quickly became the subject of intense fascination. The discovery of the monoliths initially prompted wild theories ranging from extraterrestrial visitors to elaborate art installations. While some speculated that the monoliths were the work of pranksters or artists seeking attention, others believed they held deeper symbolic or spiritual significance. However, as quickly as they appeared, the truth about the monoliths began to unravel. Many of the structures were revealed to be man-made, constructed from metal sheets and rivets, rather than alien artifacts. In some cases, individuals or groups came forward to claim responsibility for installing and removing the monoliths as a form of artistic expression or social commentary. Number 8. End of the World Cinema This drone makes a chilling discovery on the edge of the desert by accident, as it travels on the sand to get to the eeriest theater in the world. At the southern tip of the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt, the abandoned movie theater, dubbed the End of the World Cinema, is a silent and bizarre view. This deserted outdoor cinema has yet to see its premiere. Its 700 weathered and worn theater seats languish amid the howl of the desert wind. It was built by Frenchman Dean Edel in the late 1990s, but suffered a power cut on what was supposed to be its premiere night. No one knows what went wrong, but some say the local authorities weren't thrilled by the prospect of a movie theater in the middle of the desert and were the ones responsible for the generator's malfunction. While the end of the world cinema currently sits in a state of abandonment, there is always the possibility of its renovation and revival. With its visionary design and unique location, the cinema holds immense potential to once again become a cultural landmark and gathering place for audiences seeking immersive experiences. Number 7. The Giant Pink Bunny Installed and first caught by a drone in the Piedmont region of northern Italy back in 2005 is the Giant Pink Bunny in Italy, an art installation created by Gelatin, an Austrian collective of artists. It is situated in the hills of northern Italy, near the town of Artesina in the Piedmont region. The bunny, named Hase, or Big Pink Bunny, measures about 60 meters in length and is made of fabric. The installation was not abandoned. It was intentionally created as a temporary piece of art. The bunny was initially unveiled as part of an art festival, and it was intended to stay up for about 20 years. However, due to exposure to the elements, it began to deteriorate over time. Symbolically, the giant pink bunny holds various interpretations. Some view it as a whimsical and surreal creation, evoking a sense of wonder and amusement. Others see it as a commentary on the relationship between humans and nature, as it appears to be an artificial object placed in a natural landscape. Additionally, the choice of pink color and the bunny shape can spark discussions about innocence, childhood, and the absurdity of scale. Despite its eventual degradation, the giant pink bunny remains a memorable and thought-provoking piece of art that continues to captivate visitors and provoke contemplation about the intersection of art, nature, and human intervention. Number 6. Deserted Barracks in Hungary 
Not far from the Hungarian Sea sits a small village that hosts one of Hungary's most gorgeous abandoned castles. The forgotten military base doubles as a ghost castle in Hajmasker. The village is only a short 14 kilometers from Lake Balaton and quite close to Vesprem. The military barracks of Hajmasker were built back when Hungary still had a real king. During the Austro-Hungarian monarchy, the reigning monarch, Franz Joseph, recommended this plot for the building of a future artillery military base. The land was bought in 1901 by the crown for 1.8 million crowns. The goal was to build the biggest artillery training boot camp and shooting range in all of Europe. The grounds took up 5,000 hectares, so this goal was entirely within reach. The architects trusted with the planning and building of the base camp were Martin Condor and Josef Faledi, and they were perfect for the job. World War II saw the settlement and the building change hands as Nazi troops rolled in and established a base. But after the war, Hajmasker was then promptly abandoned by the soldiers, though local residents rumored that the troops stripped the building of any valuables they could find on the way out. In the 25 years since, the building has aged gracefully in some places and disintegrated in others, and the whole area exudes a silent, eerie vibe in the center of Hajmasker village. The idea of a full-blown renovation has always hung in the air, but sadly it has never been pursued. To this day, the building stands there, letting nature claim its walls back. All right, guys, it's time for our subscribers' pick for the day. In the image on your screen, we can see a scorched field that has what seems to be rows of armored tanks completely destroyed by the ravages of fire. But then, if we look closer for a moment, it looks like the remnants of a burial ritual. Could the object captured in the picture not be tanks, but rather funeral pyres, arranged carefully for cremation rites? Let us know what you think. Talking about damaged armor tanks in the late 90s, a man recalled a childhood memory to the local war history club. He told them about how he had noticed the German army do something in Lake Marasjarv then. Determined to uncover the truth, the club mobilized its divers and search teams to investigate the lake's murky waters and thick layers of sediment. Hours into the search, the divers unearthed a long-lost T-34 tank, resting seven feet below, shrouded in peat and silt. Astonishingly, despite spending 56 years submerged, the tank remained remarkably intact. Today, the exact location of the tank is unknown. Some people think it's in the Estonian War Museum, while others say it's in the War History Club's workshop in Sergala. What do you think of this discovery? Share your opinions in the comments section. Number 5. White Rocks, Abandoned Resort in Malta. White Rocks, otherwise known as the Ghost Complex of the Maltese Islands, built by the British forces in the 1960s, is a derelict spot surrounded by stunning views of the Mediterranean and the Maltese coastline. The complex has been sitting, untended, and slowly decaying for two decades on the coast of Pembroke. The area was known as the St. Patrick's Officers' Married Quarters and was used for accommodation purposes. When the military personnel left Malta, White Rocks was handed over to the government and was gradually converted into a holiday complex. In 1995, it became a prime location for housing language students studying in Malta during the summer months. But since the beginning of the 21st century, White Rocks has been left to rot. The building has been neglected for many years, and visitors can step inside, at their own risk, to wander around the empty halls. The building has no windows or doors. There's broken glass and stones scattered all around. It has no running water or electricity, and it is overgrown with weeds. The pool, certain rooms, bathrooms, and hallways can still be seen, but they are in a horrible state. Artists have taken advantage of the blank canvas and have painted graffiti on most of the walls. In recent years, the White Rocks Development Consortium reached an agreement with the government for the construction of a mixed-use complex that will include a seven-star luxury hotel with leisure, hospitality, residential, and commercial facilities. Sounds fancy. But the deal still remains in limbo as the parties haven't reached an agreement on the value of the land. Number 4. Abandoned Pontiac Silverdome Built as the home stadium of the Detroit Lions, Detroit's National Football League team, the Pontiac Silverdome was also the home of the Detroit Pistons NBA team from 1978 to 1988. The stadium was abandoned in 2006, 
a few years after the Lions decamped for the new Ford Field in downtown Detroit. This is the drone-captured video of the abandoned Pontiac Silverdome. And we know you're wondering what happened to this once-thriving arena? Well, as newer stadiums rose to prominence and the allure of the Silverdome faded, it struggled to attract events and generate revenue. Eventually, the stadium's owners found themselves unable to keep up with maintenance costs, and the decision was made to abandon the iconic venue. Since its abandonment, the Pontiac Silverdome has seen sporadic use for events such as auctions, festivals, and movie sets. Efforts have been made to revitalize the stadium, including proposals for redevelopment, but progress has been slow. While there's hope for future use, the Silverdome's fate remains uncertain, with challenges such as maintenance costs and legal issues complicating its potential revival. Number 3. Abandoned Sugar Mill, Aguada, Puerto Rico For centuries, the economy of the Caribbean island of Puerto Rico was built on one commodity, sugar. The sugar cane fields that ringed its coast fed some of the largest sugar mills in the world. For a variety of reasons, the industry went into decline beginning in the 1930s, and production today is virtually non-existent. These abandoned ruins of a once-thriving sugar mill are a fascinating sight in Aguada, Puerto Rico. Today, the abandoned sugar mill is a popular destination for adventurous explorers and history buffs. Its weathered walls and rusting machinery tell the story of Puerto Rico's rich agricultural heritage, while its overgrown surroundings add an air of mystery and intrigue. Over the years, drones operated by various photographers have documented the remains of the abandoned sugar mill, capturing its deteriorating structure and surrounding vegetation from above. Number 2. Modernu Turkey Castle Houses Near the small town of Modernu in Turkey's northwest region sits Burj Al Babas, a ghost town filled with Disney-like castles. Although, like most ghost towns, it wasn't supposed to be this way. In fact, Burj Al Babas was planned as a luxurious, stately urban development offering the look of royal living to anyone willing to shell out anywhere from 300,000 US dollars to 500,000 US dollars for their own little palace. Construction started in 2014 and was expected to take four years, with over 200 million US dollars spent. It was within that same time the developers were forced to declare bankruptcy. According to the local news, Many were frustrated that the castles didn't resemble anything in the area, particularly the historical Ottoman-style mansions. A lawsuit against the developers also claimed the company destroyed trees and harmed the environment. Turkey's economy then struggled in the years after the project started, and developers soon incurred a 27 million US dollars debt. A combination of bad choices and bad timing caused construction to be halted. For now, the manor-dotted valley has become a neighborhood of empty, half-finished shells. With many of the villas started but not one finished, the town remains unlivable. From afar, the gray-roofed neighborhood looks like something out of a Disney movie, perhaps Beauty and the Beast, but upon closer inspection, Burj Al Babas boasts an post-apocalyptic feel with rows of partially completed castles, patchy landscaping, and zero signs of life. The empty village is chilling, to say the least, like a sparkling city ravaged by war. Though it's not impossible to say the project could ever resume, it appears unlikely at this point in time. Number 1. Buyukada Greek Orphanage The Buyukada Greek Orphanage, one of the world's largest wooden buildings, designed by renowned architect Alexandre Valori, was constructed in 1898 and designed by French architect Alexandre Valori. Built in neoclassical style, it featured elegant architecture and state-of-the-art facilities. The Buyukada Greek Orphanage was intended to provide shelter and education to the orphaned children of the Greek community living in Istanbul. However, the fortunes of the Buyukada Greek Orphanage took a dark turn in the aftermath of political upheaval and conflict between Turkey and Greece. Following years of tension and violence, the orphanage was abruptly shuttered in 1964. Since then, the Buyukada Greek Orphanage has been abandoned. On the picturesque island of Buyukada in Turkey now lie the haunting ruins of this orphanage, once one of the grandest structures in the region. And that's all for today's video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.